Greetings and welcome to Black Talk Radio, where black radio stations matter and black lives definitely matter. Today is Saturday, March 3rd, 2018, and today we bring you a video about an actress who says she passed on Black Panther role because she's biracial, a light-skinned American. Well, let's go to the story. This actress' name is Amanda Stenberg, and... She says she walked away from Black Panther because her skin complexion is lighter than that of the other cast members and she wanted to give darker skin actors a space. Quote, one of the most challenging things for me to do was to walk away from Black Panther, she told CBC. I really, I got really, really close and they were like, do you want to continue fighting for this? And I was like, this isn't right. She added, these are all dark-skinned actors playing Africans, and I feel like it would have been, would have just been off to see me as a biracial American with a Nigerian accent, just pretending that I'm the same color as everyone else in the movie. She says that was really challenging to make that decision, but I have no regrets. She continued, I recognize 100% that there are spaces that I should not take up and when I do take up a space it's because I've thought really really critically about it and I've consulted people I really trust and it feels right. The Everything Everything actress also talked to Essence magazine about dropping out of playing T'Challa's sister Shuri. Letitia Wright Quote, I was in the audition process for it. Then I decided to not continue with the process because I thought that it wouldn't be right for me as a biracial light-skinned American to be playing the role, she said. I don't think visually it would have made sense and it wasn't appropriate for me to go after that role. Black Panther is one of the only films that we have that has darker skin representation. That's what was so beautiful about it. Unquote, she said. Well, so I started reading some of the tweets and some of the uh, comments on the page and I noticed that the majority of comments were very negative about Amanda Stenberg um, saying that she was just trying to grab attention and whatnot and I don't think people took into consideration that this girl decided to bow out of a moneymaker something that she could have stacked her wallet with but instead she thought more about what was right in this film and to bow out for that reason though I think was not so smart and here's why I say that. You know, Amanda Stenberg, if you saw the pictures I just showed of her, she looks like a black woman, a light-skinned black woman. No one would really know she was biracial unless she actually brought that forth. And that's the whole point about this. And that's the problem. Because, you know, right now we are fighting for racial justice we are fighting for the truth and when we talk about ancient history for instance white people in particular can't understand how we say that the ancient Egyptians were black they don't understand that um, they don't understand that when they look at the hieroglyphs and the murals the base reliefs that they see you know an array of black skinned people that have different variations of our blackness just like African Americans do today we're not all the same color and that's the whole point and that's my point about Amanda Stenberg is I think she overthought this because sure enough I don't think that playing T'Challa's sister was a great idea no but she could have played any one of the other roles as far as um, one of the sisters that was fighting, for instance, one of the warriors, you know, um, going back to ancient e uh, Kemet, for instance, ancient Egypt, for instance, let's talk about that. 
um, the ancient Egyptians always portrayed themselves of different color variations. They weren't just all one color. And th again, that's the same with black people all over the world, wherever we're, wherever we are at. We're not all just one color. And I think in terms of when we're talking about things, people get that misconstrued. At least it seems that way. But anyways, let me go back to something about the story I wanted to say. And so here we have, it says, some fans understood where she was coming from writing, Amanda said that she dropped out of the running to play Shuri because it made no sense as a light-skinned biracial American. The kids are truly smarter about this than adults. And kudos to Amanda Stenberg for embracing activism that isn't performative. She truly took a hit in her own wallet to address colorism. However, others weren't so supportive. As you see in this first tweet, someone wrote, Maybe it's just me, but I honestly see Amanda Stenberg comments as pretty backhanded. Well, in fact, her comments were not backhanded at all. She was just speaking her truth. But again, I say this to say that I think um, a lot of biracial people unfortunately get so wrapped up in the fact that they're mixed that they want to be a part of the conversation so bad that they make it an issue each and every time when it's not necessary. Again, when you look at Amanda, she looks like a beautiful light-skinned black woman, plain and simple. But Amanda Stenberg had to make it about her and her being biracial. You know, when President Obama was in office, um, I noticed that he never made it a point to keep saying, well, I'm biracial, I'm biracial, you know. Um, but some people, I think they take it a little too far. Anyways, that's just my opinion. Um, that's just one segment of this video. The second part of this video, I got to say, um, I want to talk about um, the movie Black Panther just a bit. Um, now that it's been like a couple weeks now and the hoopla is dying down, I have to say that the movie is still pulling in the numbers. Um, the false narrative that black movies just don't do that is just simply false. And the point of, that Amanda brought up about the all black cast being dark skin, I think Again, that was a beautiful point of the movie. As a lighter, um, caramel-complected man myself, um, I could say that I saw major beauty in that film and how the beauty of dark-skinned black people are. It just goes to show when you put us on film, whatever shade of blackness we come in, we bring a lot to the table. Anyways, that's just my opinion. This is Guru at Black Talk Radio. Thanks a lot for watching. We will see you in the next video. Peace out.